So you've got your technician endorsements. Congratulations. Now it's time to apply for your Global Talent Visa. In this video, I'll share everything you need to know about the Global Talent Visa Stage 2 application process. This is after you've received your endorsement email from Tech Nation. So we'll share about the documents, the fees, the processing times for applying for your Global Talent Visa after your endorsement, both within the UK and outside the UK. So to begin with, the Global Talent Visa brings the brightest and the best talent from across the world globally to come and live and work in the United Kingdom digital technology sector and you can apply for the Global Talent Visa from anywhere in the world. The first step in this entire process is to apply for endorsements and I have a video on this channel that details all of that. After your endorsement has been granted, you can then proceed with the visa application process which is the stage 2. Now, the visa application must be submitted within three months from the date your endorsement decision was made. If you fail to apply for your visa after three months of getting endorsed, the endorsement will expire and then you'll have to start the process all over again, which means a new stage one endorsement application would need to be submitted. Now, you don't want to go through this. So the first step in summary is that you have only three months, that's 90 days after your endorsement, to submit the visa application or it will expire. Step two, gather the required documents. Now, here are the documents you will need for your Global Talent Visa Stage 2 application process. Number one, your endorsement letter. That's the letter you get in your email. Number two, a valid international passport or other documents that shows your identity and your nationality. Three, you need a photo. And then four, your tuberculosis test result. That is if you are from a country where you have to take the tests. Your tests must be from a clinic that is approved by the home office. In Nigeria, you can use IOM or other approved clinics. To make this easy, I have added a link to the approved centers in this video description for you. Step three, know the application costs. Now, after endorsement, the state two visa costs £167 only. Now, additionally, you have to pay the immigration health surcharge, also known as the NHS surcharge. This is mandatory for all non-UK nationals who are issued a visa that's more than six months in length. It also applies to all applications submitted in the UK, regardless of the length. Payment of the IHS will ensure that you have full access to the UK National Health Service, that's the NHS, on the same terms as a permanent UK resident. The IHS will cost an additional £624 per person per year that your visa is valid. Now, children under 18 will be liable for a £470 per year charge as well. For example, if you apply for a three-year visa, you will be charged an additional £1,872. Now, these full costs may be paid at the point of your application. Step 4 book an appointment. You will have to book an appointment to submit your documents, your biometric details and your photo at one of the UK visa application centers in your country. In many cases, you'd have to use um, the TLS if you are outside Europe or VFS Global if you are within Europe. However, if you want to get the decision faster, you can apply for priority or super priority services. Of course, this attracts additional fees. With this, you could get the decision within five working days or by the end of the next working day for super priority. The visa approval timelines. Now, once you've applied, you've proven your identity and you've provided your documents, you usually get the decision on your visa within three weeks if you're outside of the UK and within eight weeks if you're within the UK. After your immigration case is approved, you will receive a Vignet sticker at the visa center or have it delivered to you if you chose this option during your second stage application. Please note that once you receive your visa, you have to enter the UK within three months. If you were already in the UK and apply to extend or switch to Global Talent Visa, a new BRP will be delivered to the address that you used in your application. Applying for your Global Talent Visa Stage 2 can actually be a very seamless process as long as you know exactly what to do. If this has been valuable to you in any way, please ensure to subscribe and like this video and turn on notifications so that when I put out the next valuable content, you will be one of the first to get to know about it. All right, feel free to leave your questions or your queries in the comment section below and I'll do well to respond to them accordingly. All right, guys, have a beautiful day. Cheers.